The Dr. Romanos Kampungu Special School has more than 80 learners living with different types of disabilities, mainly hearing impairment and blindness. Some are slow learners who need to be catered for by the unit. The children were brought from various villages through sometimes convincing reluctant parents to let go of the children so that they can have an education. Mbango said that makes it difficult for the school to go back to the parents to assist with the children's basic needs at the hostel. When you convince a parent to bring the child to school, you cannot say, okay, now bring a blanket, now bring this and that. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it that the ministry have to provide everything. Um, the Minister of Education, Honorable Hanse uh, Katrina Hanse Himaro, when she was here, she indicated that when a special school or a special unit is built, it must be special. Everything must be there. She believes government could do more in this regard and urged the deputy minister to lobby the Minister of Education. Alexia Nube, who donated bed linen to the learners during her visit, says government has vowed to ensure that no one is left out on Namibia's march to prosperity. Uh, the children with disabilities uh, generally have been really uh, sidelined, as we all know, and they have been put in the situation that some have even not to go to school because their parents feel that they are not worth or they are more overprotective over these children. She promised to do everything in her power to make sure that the living conditions of the children are improved. The David added that no one should be discriminated against on the basis of their physical and mental disability.